What's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm back for uh, 10 more um, CDs for my collection, like I've been doing forever now. Um, got some sort of cool news. Uh, I get to finally uh, see Inquisition tomorrow night. Um, even though I live in the same state as them, I never fucking thought they'd come here, so that's fucking badass. Um, hopefully I'll pick up some cool stuff at that show that I can show you guys, if it's any, if they have anything, you know, uh, that I don't already have. Which I have all their albums, but, uh, CDs I should say. I don't have any vinyl, I might pick some vinyl up. But anyways, ten CDs, here we go. We're gonna start off with Arch Goat. This is the only Arch Goat album I have. Um, The Light Devouring Darkness. Uh, not necessarily the only one I like. I have heard their other stuff and I do like it. I bought that one when it came out back in 2009. I just haven't got around to buying their other stuff. I know for a lot of YouTubers, for some reason, that band is mandatory. Um, I like them quite a bit. I don't think I worship the ground they walk on, as so many others do, but uh, pretty fucking good. Next, we have a band that I have always liked, and I have literally, I don't think I've ever seen anyone talk about it, seen, heard, whatever. Um, and that is Argar from Spain. Argar play a kind of a raw black metal with symphonic elements. Uh, they get a lot of comparisons to earlier Emperor, which I, I, I can see where the comparison would be made, but they're not really that similar. Not as, I don't know, they're just not that similar. Uh, anyway, this album is called, I don't know what it's called, <laughs> C-W-M-A-N-N-W-N, that probably stands for something uh, way too cool for me to understand. Louis, stop. This, this dude, man. Yeah. This album, uh, I don't even know who the fuck released this. Uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna really look into it. I bought it from, years ago I bought it from Moribund Records. I don't know if they have it available still. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a band I would urge you guys to check out. If you don't mind, you know, some, some symphonic elements in your black metal, you know, keyboards pretty much is what they, you know, is where that comes from. Um, not really any orchestration or anything. Just kind of, kind of some grand sounding keyboards. It's not, it doesn't overcome, god damn it. It doesn't overcome the music, like, you know, like Dimmu Borger or Later Emperor. <laughs> I'm sorry about Louie. Um, but it, yeah, it's a lot more raw. The music's more raw. It's not quite as bombastic, but it's definitely there. I would, I guess you could call it symphonic black metal if you really feel the need to uh, categorize it. Um, I like symphonic black metal. I mean, that's kind of the stuff that got me into the genre. Um, you know, bands like Emperor and Dimmu Borger and Cradle of Filth and what have you, and I like a lot of other stuff, too. It's kind of funny how it's trends in metal come and go. I mean, that was like in the mid mid to late 90s that was kind of the more popular black metal, and a lot of bands were doing it and now it seems like it's, you know, it's not the thing to do anymore, so you don't hear a lot of it. Um, people have gone towards more like the occult or like orthodox root black metal. I, I don't know. I really, when it comes to metal or music in general, I don't think anything should be a trend. It should just be something that is done or something that isn't, you know? It's, I think it's stupid. Uh, anyway, I'm not saying I can't live without, you know, circusy sounding keyboards in my black metal, but I, I think when done right, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I did in the, the late 90s, and I still think it's cool. This is their second and final album. Uh, what the fuck is it called? Sorry. Grim... God damn it, I'm so sorry. Grim March to Black Eternity. I was going to say Grim Black March to Eternity. But anyway, this was this is released on fucking... I don't know, I can't read the back. It's released on some other, you know, underground black metal label that I'm not familiar with. Also got it from uh, Moribund Records. Just picked it up the same time as the last one. This band is defunct, so they are no more. They had the two releases and they had a demo. It's all really good stuff. I'd urge you to check it out. I was thinking about making a, a soul video where I talk about the band and those two albums. And I still might do it um, if there's any interest. Um, there's also a band that one or two of these guys was in called... Uh, from Spain as well, called, um, <laughs> I don't remember, god damn, I'm, I'm really tired, I've had school this week and I'm exhausted, anyway, they were in another band that's really cool, equally as good as Argar, I might even like it better, um, fuck, I don't know, I'll put a link down in the comments when I look it up though, and it's definitely a band you guys should check out, they have two full lengths, and I'm sorry, this video is total shit, <laughs> if there's anyone watching this video that hasn't watched any of my videos, I they probably won't return. But, uh, fuck it. I don't really know how to do any editing, and I don't really want to learn, so I'm posting this video in its entirety with all the fuck-ups that have happened so far. 
Next we have Archon and Faustus as Orthodoxin. Um, it's a pretty cool album. It's probably my favorite of theirs. Um, this is released through Osmos Productions. I think I got it from Redstream. Um, anyway, it's probably my favorite of theirs. It's the most, um, I don't know. I, I don't really know how to describe it. it if you're not familiar with Archon and Faustus, they are from France, a black, start off kind of a black metal band. They're leaning more towards black death later in their career. They they got pretty popular um, when the French scene kind of started booming with all those bands. Um, I haven't heard anything from a, from them in a long time. This might have been their last album uh, so far that they've done. I don't know if they're still active or if you know maybe the dudes are in other projects. But anyways, you probably know Archon of Faustus, but if not, and if you like French black metal, it's definitely something you'll want to look into. Next, we have another band who I rarely, rarely ever see fucking uh, mentioned, and that's just sad, because this, this band, this album, and just band in general is totally fucking awesome. Um, this Asgaroth, this is the album Redshift, it's the last album they ever did. Asgaroth are from, I think they're from Germany, if I remember correctly. Uh, I got this through Peaceville Records. Asgaroth are a black metal band that started in the uh, early to mid-90s. They kind of morphed their sound, kind of evolved their sound on every album. It was more straight-up, raw black metal, even kind of symphonic-y black metal early on. This album is just a beast of its own. I, I wouldn't even know how to describe it. <laughs> it's a black metal album. It's it's kind of got a modern production. Um, the songwriting is strong. It's, it's just, I don't even... It's black metal. I mean, it's not It's not going to be raw, grim, you know. If that's your cup of tea, if you only like Dark Throne and, and such bands like that, you might not like that, but I mean, if you're open-minded to just good songwriting, it's a fucking killer album. So I, I definitely urge you to look into it. Unfortunately, it's the only album of theirs I have. I'm going to have to remedy that someday when I can find their... Uh, I think their other stuff's hard to come by. I could be wrong. Next, we have Black Thraff... Black... <laughs> black Thraff... Black Thrash Metal from Australia, um, which is some of my... I love Aussie Black Thrash and Black Death. It's just one of my favorite subgenres, I guess you could call it. That is a, a Salter. And their last and final album, Boundless, got this through... Uh, I don't remember. But apparently Poison Tongue Records. I'm not familiar with that. This album is fucking awesome. I and mean, if you like Destroyer 666, Gospel of the Horns... This album is definitely for you. They have an album that they did before this. I don't own it. I have heard it. I think this one blows it out of the water. So I would urge you to check out both, however, for me on the thing. Now we have some stuff that I've shown with my vinyl, and I don't know how many people could possibly give a shit about these next two albums, but I do. Asia, their self-titled uh, debut. Fucking great album. It's just a, you know, it's just a proggy, uh, proggy, pop rock album it's amazing i love it um oddly enough john wetton the singer and bass player just died today so that's that was that's pretty sad i don't know the cause i don't know what that's probably cancer like everyone else i don't know for sure though i don't know what the causes are i don't know how old he was um but yeah it's a bummer sucks when anyone dies in general but you know even more so when it's somebody that you know had a body of work that you enjoyed and stuff like that and the only other Asia CD I own, which is, I think, the last album they did. Been a while, though. Uh, 2010, I think. That is uh, Omega. I was a little, a little hesitant to get this one. There's the guys on the back. Because um, I, I, I liked early Asia, obviously, and I had not heard anything they did for, for quite a while. And really listened to like the first three or four albums. So I was, I was pretty hesitant, because I'm like... Asia in 2010, how, how could it possibly work? But it's a pretty good album, actually. Um, I, I even, I return to it uh, every now and then, which is saying a lot, because I have a lot of stuff to listen to. So it's a good album, that's all I can say. It's, it's a lot stronger than I expected. Next, we have the only two S Fix albums that I own, but they are fucking good. As you can see, The Rack, this is the original Century Media Pressing. I'm um, really, really proud to have this one. Um, it's just one of the best death metal albums ever recorded, as you know. The Rack from the Netherlands, Martin Van Drunen uh, from Pestilence. I don't really need to say anymore. I mean, who the fuck doesn't know who Pe or Asphyx are or Pestilence? Um, and I don't have the newest Asphyx album. Not that I just take everything that people say seriously, but I, 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 I have not heard one good thing about the album. I mean, I, I've heard it's okay, but I've heard it's 
heard it's disappointing. I've heard it's w far weaker than the last two albums that they put out that I, I really liked. So anyways, I don't have that to show you. I, I, I probably will pick it up. I, I, I don't see how it could be that bad, but apparently it is. Death Hammer. <laughs> Sorry, I had fucking a little out of the loop. Um, Death Hammer is the, the album that they did before the newest album, which is, I don't remember the name of it. So this is their 2012 release. Really killer. Um, what can I say? It's just a good as fix album. I think it's easily as good or probably better than the one that came before it, Death the Brutal Way. I think this one's better for my money, anyways. I liked Death the Brutal Way a lot. I heard some people complain about that one too, saying they didn't care for it, but I thought it was really fucking good. I think this one is probably a notch above it. Anyways, that's all. I, I have picked up a couple CDs over the weekend. I was gonna show them, but I figured I'll just record them uh, when I do my Inquisition video, because I'm gonna do a, uh, I'm sure I'll pick something up, something cool up at the Inquisition show, so I'll be showing that, and I'll just throw in the, my other acquisitions with that, and just make one video instead of two. I don't really know how to make, take a video and make, you know, show three CDs that I've recently gotten and make it even halfway interesting. So, anyways, if you, you heard any of those releases, uh, if you're a fan of any of them, especially the ones that I mentioned that I, I feel are underrated, such as Argar and, uh, and Asgaroth, if you are into those bands, definitely talk to me, because <laughs> I think they're amazing both, and I uh, literally, I don't think I've ever even heard or seen anyone talk about them. So anyway... Talk to me. Uh, I'm going to go back to fucking... I'm going to go take a nap before work. I just got home from school. I'm pretty exhausted. I like you give a shit about that. But anyway, that's what I have going on in my life. So anyways, if you're watching, thank you. If you're subscribing, thank you even more. And have a good day.